Good morning, and in some cases, good afternoon, depending on where you're at. And some people, it's already tomorrow. So anyway, the elections are over as far as all that goes. Uh, while the media does not elect a president, they can only report on what the vote outcome was that we have, and they're still voting. Uh, they're still counting the votes, I should say. So the thing is that while all these court actions are going on, there are some things that you need to understand. While it's everyday business as far as court procedures go to challenge uh, the, the vote totals and uh, if there's been any fraud committed or anything else like that, uh, and I don't know that there has been, okay? I don't pay attention to the news because the news likes to spin things in their favor and make it appear as if something has taken place that is not. And Joe Biden can say he's the incumbent president, but until the Electoral College certifies it, doesn't mean anything. All right. So, but anyway, there is, as far as the court actions are concerned, there is one thing that I think you do need to understand. Even though this is eventually going to wind up in the United States Supreme Court, you are going to have to know that there has never, ever been a decision from the United States Supreme Court that has ever overturned an election. They just don't do it. They're not, you know, they can, they are political at times, but they just do not do that. They kind of let it solve itself out, resolve itself, but they are not going to uh, become political and issue something that could overturn an election. Not going to happen. So ultimately, Trump could lose. All right. Um, we hear about all the different stuff about the QFS code on some of these ballots and all that. And, uh, it's always, it always goes on every time there's an election that dead people vote, dogs vote, um, and all that. And, uh, there are always questionable things that are being done. But, my understanding is that it really doesn't make any difference on who is elected at this point because the QFS system and this whole system has already gone beyond the point of no return. Okay. Uh, the, what most people don't realize is that the stimulus packages, the money for the stimulus package is already there. And it came out of Dubai 3. So most people aren't aware of that. Uh, Dubai 1 and 2 are done, been done. I don't know how many times they're going to keep hearing it, but they're done. Uh, the level 1, level 2 are done as far as all that is concerned as well. The platform traders have not been paid. And they keep saying it's going to be put off forever. And you have certain people that listen to the platform traders. The platform traders are only concerned in themselves getting paid. The money that has come off of those trades that were done have already been put into the various accounts that it has to go into. And uh, the only thing is the traders haven't been paid. So, and as much as people like to disagree, uh, about tier 4B, uh, people that agree with it, some people disagree with it, who knows, I don't know. Um, but the platform traders and everybody along the way that has money on account does not get the balance of their money until tier 4B goes. And that's it, simple as that. You know, the international rate is waiting on, on dinar land. You know, there's more garbage going on in dinar land than anywhere else in the world. You know, 
they seem to be able to think that they can just make stuff up. And it'll float because uh, people in Dinar land are basically gullible. And uh, they, they can have the, the facts presented to them and believe it at that point. And then somebody else comes across and interjects what their point of view is. And they believe that too. They don't have any common sense. You know, common sense is the big thing here. We have to look at the whole thing, determine what is actually going on. Me, I don't care if it's Trump or if it's Biden. It's already gone too far for them to stop it at this point. They can make adaptions to it and change it a little bit, which is what apparently they're doing. And uh, we just have to wait because at this point, Trump is still president. That's it. That's the bottom line. Trump is still president. And all the people in the world, the cabal people that are running other countries, can congratulate Joe Biden all they want to. But it is going to be determined by the courts. And if the courts rule against Trump, then it's still moving forward. It's gone too far to stop, and the Democrats aren't going to be able to stop it. And they're going to adapt try to adapt certain things to make them look like the heroes. So you have to understand that, you know. So right now, we're just sitting and waiting. And, it, and one thing about our blog is it's not a political platform. If you have political opinions about this or that, keep them to yourself. I don't want to hear it. And if you start getting into that, I'll start taking you off the site. You have to understand, it's my site. I govern it. I say who goes and who stays. And if you don't like that, then go somewhere else. Simple as that. You know, I don't like the politics of it. You know, there's a couple things you don't ever talk about, and one of them is politics. Because politics makes people angry. And if you want to be angry, go somewhere else. Please, keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it, and I don't want to take you off the site, but I will. Because I have no choice about it. I want this to be a political free area. You know, I don't care if you're for Trump, and I don't care if you're for Biden. Keep it to yourself. You know, so anyway... Uh, we haven't gotten any news since yesterday, um, and basically it's just the stuff that's being sometimes repeated somewhere else. But whoever it is that wins, and I don't care who, if, who wins. If it's Trump, fine and dandy. If it's Biden, fine and dandy. But there are certain things that have already gone too far that cannot be stopped. If nothing else out of this happens and Biden gets elected, the, the currency will exchange no matter what. You know, the, the, the Zim has always been the pain in this because of the amount of money that is made in it all the time. So only thing we can tell you is just be calm. Let the process run, and don't get too nervous if Biden loses, I mean, or Trump loses. If Biden wins, so be it. There's nothing that we can do about it because we're not in charge, all right? We have political people out there that basically don't want Trump in there, and uh, he's doing what he can, and the other people are doing what they can to make sure that Biden gets elected to the Electoral College. Now, that's where we're sitting. So just relax. Be patient. Let this process work. And whoever's supposed to be president will be president. And that's as far as I can go. I'm not supporting Trump. I'm not supporting Biden. I don't vote because I don't care. I don't trust the political system. That's why I don't vote. But that being said, keep it cool, keep
keep it calm and understand the person that's going to be president will be president. The process cannot be stopped at this point. Okay? And it does not have to wait until for five or six weeks for the Electoral College to make its, its decisions. And the court decisions take 35 to 40 days for the process. So we're in limbo land. And so if a couple of you want to put out a couple of polls in a bar and you want to do the limbo, go right ahead because it's not going to change anything until the Electoral College has certified the vote and the court has ruled and it will go to the United States Supreme Court. And it's going to be up to the Supreme Court if it's going to choose who the president is going to be. And that's where it lies. So we get any updates, we will be letting you know and we will be posting them. So thank you. Bye.